Hey everyone, welcome back to our React Query course. So today we are going to see how we can unit test the component we created in the last video, which was using mutation. And we use the mutation basically to create a new post and add it to our post list. Now, let's first thing we have to do is because we're using uh, the use mutation from Tensor Create Query and also we are using the use query client, we need to mock these um, hooks. So what I have done here, I mock the use mutation here and export it in my setup test.js. Now we are go inside my test file and I have to start with mocking um, the use query client as well with the mutation too. So this is how the way you do it. Uh, I'm not going to details because this is not about the unit test um, in depth. It's more about just quickly how you can get started and unit test your components. So all what we are do doing here is that we are pointing to our uh, 10 stack React query and we are just mutating the use query client hook and the use mutation hook as well. Okay. Next thing is we need to import our testing files. So again, render to help us render our component and mock it. Fire event that will help us to trigger uh, someone typing our input fees here and also submitting the button. Then wait for, and that you'll see what is for as well. And we will import these from the testing library. So add testing library slash react. Next thing we need to uh, import our use mutation hook from the uh, tensor React query itself. So even though we mock it, so we have to import it. Okay. And of course we need to import our component that we are going to test. Nice. Now let's create this scribe. So I'll describe my test. Create, let's say, create post component. Okay. And, oopsie. Okay. And before I write any test, because we've been mocking uh, some calls here using Jest, I need to do one thing is that after each test I write when it finish, I need to clear it. So the way you do it is you write after each uh, function, which accept a functional components, and there you just trigger just reset all the marks. So what we'll do after every test it finish, it will just reset all your marks. Okay. Now let's create our first test. And what I will do, I will just create two basic tests. And if you want to play around, you can uh, pull this code into your machine and you can uh, play around and adding some more tests if you want to. Okay. Now. I'll see first if my form is rendering properly. So renders form element, which means my mutation, uh, my mock mutation should be also working as expected. Otherwise it will fail. And this one, um, we pass an error function for our test. And let's do our mock use mutation dot mock return value. So we're mocking the value we're getting back, okay, from our use mutation. And for now, I'll just pass the function mutate and it will be a just dot fn. Okay, so if you remember here, we are using this mutate here, okay, so our mutation dot mutate. So we're mocking this mutate as well. Now, let's go back to our test. So we mutate that. Now let's try to find some elements in our form. So for that, I need to first uh, import a few things from my screen. So get by label text. So I can find elements uh, by placeholder or by label. Today I'm trying to do by label text. And other thing is I want to find by text, okay? So I want to find this semi button, not with roll, but by text only, okay? Now, I access those from where? From our render, and we render our component. Cool. Now, let's do our uh, test. So I'm expecting, expect that get uh, by label text. And what I want to find, I want to find the title. Okay. So I can do title, title, and that should be in the document 
to be in the document. Okay, first let's run test and see if this works. npm test. And why I'm doing npm test is because in my package, the JSON, I have a test script and I'm using create react app. So all what I have to do is just npm test. Let's close this, let's close that too. And let's see if my test will work. And it fails and I found that here it changes. Okay, so it should be expect, not something else. Run my test again. And that's passed, okay? I want to do the same thing. I want to find my description. And let's save. And that passes as well. And let's not try to find our button submit. Okay, so I'm finding by text. Okay, submit. Save. And that passes as well. Now, let's create the actual test. Okay, we will see how we can test the submission of our form. So test, submit the form on button click. Okay, so that should be successful. That's what I'm trying to test. And because this submission should be a sync test. And again, we have to mutate uh, our use mutation hook. Okay, but this time differently. The mutate before in my previous state, um, in my previous test, I just mock it inside, but this one time I need to mock it outside and pass it because click my submit button. I want to check if this mutate function being called or not. So that's why I want to pass. Um, I want to declare it outside, then pass it to my use mutation mock return value so I can access it later. Okay. Now, same thing we did before. We need um, to add get by label text and get by text. And now what I will do is that I need to type in my input field. So I need to mock that. So the way we can do it is you use your fire event and auto change because this one, when you click, it's on change triggering. And then I'm trying to first uh, simulate someone clicking, someone typing in the title field. Okay, and someone type this test title. Then I'm trying also to simulate someone who is typing in the description field and all what they type is test description. And when they are done, I want to simulate someone clicking the submit button. Okay, now let's run our test. So because these events are async, I need to use a wait for before I do my actual test. And that's a wait for is a sync as well. So a wait, a wait for. And if you remember that a wait for we imported from um, our React, and I see I can I did type it wrong again. It's not a wait, it's wait for. And this one it will accept an arrow function. And inside there we can do our tests. Okay, so expect. So first I want to see is that when we click our submit, I want to see if my mutate uh, function from use mutation is being triggered. So I'll say mutate, and that's the one now we are uh, creating lane 24. Okay, so I'm expecting that to have been called. Okay, and only being called was to have been called times one. Let's save this and see if this will work. Great, it worked. Okay, so my mutate uh, function has been called only once. Now I want to check if it is being called with these values passing correctly. Okay, and the way you can do that, I'll just copy and paste this. So you can do it by to have been called with. Okay, so not times but with. And then I can pass uh, my object right there. So I'll just copy and paste it quickly. And basically that's my title and that's what I typed here and then my body and that's what I typed there. Okay. Now I'm expecting this one to pass as well. Let's save it and let's see if it will work. And it works. So easy peasy. It's really straightforward and very easy. Now if you want to play around you can add like our success status, display message and test that. Um, do the error also and display that. You can handle the loading and, and also test that. So you can just play around with the film just to practice uh, on your free time. So 
Stay tuned because in the next video we are going to jump into pagination and also how we can test pagination as well.